Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Chris Fallon here and we're all about running, reselling, lifestyle and everything in between and today is, well it's almost the end of week 20 and today is Saturday and we haven't been running all week and that is because finally got the vaccination, well first jab and had to take a couple of days off there. It's a little touch and go um, and this one's just been enjoying the downtime. Just yeah, I've been resting as well, just risk his <laughs> <Don't you? laughs> She's just been supporting me. So I'm um, going to do the first run since that. I've been pretty tired of, of recent, so we're just going to do 5k, see how we go, um, and then get back into things hopefully. Well, Carla's getting her second next week, so we're still going to be a bit on and off for the next week or so, um, but hopefully then we can charge down into it and we'll only have six weeks left, so it's moving pretty quick now. Anyway, we're going to get out charge along. Beautiful morning, it's 9.30 and it is sunny and it is bright and fresh. How are you feeling, babe? <laughs> She's just waking up. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We can do it. Yeah? All right, team, we'll see you out there. Hey. Really? Really? One, one, one blade of grass? Don't think it's going to cut it. Nope. Like it. Not good enough. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Let's leave them be. Ooh. 5k done and dusted well done babe got it done that's it it's been a while team it's been a while feel all right though not fatigued probably just actually feel pretty good all things considered good to be able to get back to it tomorrow not sure what i'm going to do yet i am keen to maybe do a 10k just to push it up a little bit um, but next week will probably be a, a dip of a week as well only because Carla's getting her second so I'll probably run a bit but she probably won't but then the week after that it's time to buckle down so we'll see what I do tomorrow and I'll keep you updated all right team I'll see you in a jiffy let's go all right team we are back for a 10k yesterday we are doing 10k it's uh, starting to clear up it's Sunday morning just about to hit 8 a.m. and I'm doing 10k, Carla's just going to decide to rest and look, it's only 10k and I say only just lightly because I know not everyone thinks 10k is only but um, I would like to do a bit longer but I feel probably just, just going to take it easy, let this week be that rest week. N next week I'm going to start to bring up that volume, obviously Carla won't be running the full week and then from that week after it'll be go, go, go. So just going to get out, have some fun, just cruise, probably do um, 6 to 7k loop and then it will be a, a 4 to 3k loop um, which will probably be a hot lap as well so although I find with 10k's it takes me a while to warm up usually so usually I'm warmed up around 15k when I'm doing my longer runs so it'll be interesting to see how we go for a 10k still a bit tired <laughs> all right let's do it probably just gonna listen to some music and uh, yeah chill all right team see you out there let's go Ooh, lap one number done. Just gonna have a quick snack break and breather. Let me get it back out there. We're gonna do a hot lap, a reverse lap, a fun lap. Feeling alright, but feeling some things.
All right, let's do this. Reverse lap. Hot lap. Let's go. Got the tunes ready. Let's rock and roll. All right, team. Well, we're charging ahead. There might not be much footage of this last loop. Just gonna hunker down. I love these little missions. That's what it's all about. Incredible stuff. 10k. <clears throat> Look at these goosebumps. Look at them. All over the place. So that second half, that last loop, everything I wanted. Speedy. I even uh, managed to <laughs> run next to another guy called Ben and we're just having a chat, which was nice. So you gotta take what you can get from these runs and take what you can get from the current times because <clears throat> this week it's been it's been nice not to run but at the same time I, I hate not doing it and if anything the running's going great you know I had to take some time off because of vaccine but mentally for the reselling at the moment it's it's a grind a huge grind and that's because I've got plenty of stock there's nothing wrong with stock it's just that you know I'm not seeing the results I think I want and if anything the results I'm doing are great getting my listings in I've got consistency coming through I've got sales coming every day I should not be complaining it's just not higher dollars worth it's just not above average it's just not you know new records and it all comes back to mentality because there's people here struggling to do that and here I am sucking and complaining so it is a mental grind it is a mental challenge and I just gotta figure out how to get through that. And <clears throat> one thing that I'll be focusing on for next week is how I can change it up. And today, Sunday, last day of the week, I may even just take the day off, forget the reselling for today, and just focus on me, get some headspace in the right place, and uh, go in strong next week because it can be quite overwhelming. And the, the big topic I've been talking about of late has been mindset reset. So. Yeah, that's just where I'm at. All right, let's let this sink and we'll have a look at the stats, folks. It's an epic run. 10K, not too bad. One hour and two minutes, 6.13 pace, nice. Really stepped it up in that second half. 152 heart rate. I'm happy with this. Look, I'm gonna jump over to the recap in a second, but <clears throat> one piece of encouragement, one piece of word of advice is <clears throat> when when things get you down, and I've said this so many times over the last years when training is usually when I'm feeling in a rut with my running, I look for other areas of where I'm seeing success, seeing progress, and that is, you know, I've got my podcast that's doing great at the moment. I've got my uh, reselling, which that's why I'm struggling at the moment. I'm not struggling, mentally I'm struggling. And <clears throat> getting out and doing this run is where I feel great, I feel win. So it brings back that positivity, it brings back the win for the day and it doesn't get you into that slump of nothing's working, nothing's going good. Same thing when podcast is a bit behind, when YouTube is a bit behind, when reselling is a bit behind, or when running is a bit behind, I can jump between all those different things and find a success or a win in each of those. And then there is other things. You know, I like to play video games, I like to do other things like that, and sometimes going on there and playing, you have some fun. Pokemon cards, opening up a Pokemon pack and you get a big hit and it, it just changes it. So it really does come down to perspective, mindset and just being willing to find the wins in the small things. So anyway, that's it team. I'll see you in a jiffy. 20 weeks done and dusted. Well, <clears throat> guys, I, I just, I think just for a moment here, it's just kind of crazy to think that we've been doing this for 20 weeks and you know, originally this was meant to be a 16 week plan and obviously it's been pushed out to even further, pushed out twice now and this week it really has just been a pretty casual week as obviously having the vaccine, the first dosage, it meant I had to take a step back and just make sure I was resting. So we have only done two runs this week but the good thing about this week was it was kind of just a great week to kind of have that mindset reset which I know we've been talking about a lot here. Um, not just here in the running world, but also in, in the reselling space. But 
I think the key takeaway is that, yeah, I've been able to just progress down, just take it easy, and I've had some fun this week. And next week will probably be a little bit more. It won't be just as less, but it'll be more. And um, I think over this week and next week, just as Carla's getting her final dose as well, and then we'll be jumping straight into it. So, uh, you know, there's not really much to chat about for this week. I mean, we did do a 5K, we did a 10, well, I did a 10K. So we've done a total of 15K and but I think the big win for this week really is we've now hit over 900 kilometers. If you'll see on that full view, we've done over 900 kilometers for this training plan, over 104 hours of, of running, um, heart rate still very consistent, elevations there. Average pace is still a little high, not, not, not saying it's a bad thing, it's still 704. I would love that to be just a bit lower, but I think for what I'm doing and what I'm training, this is exactly where it needs to be. So next week, what I'll be working to probably likely focus on is really just starting to build that foundation back up. Um, now, at the moment, we're currently coming into week 21. We're about eight weeks away from D-Day. So week 21 is going to be a bit slower. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of, you know, a 40 minute here, maybe a 60 minute there. And I might even do a half marathon. Really just depends on how I'm feeling. I am feeling a few little things in my back at the moment. So I'm just going to manage that. But once we get back into week 22, we'll be basically doing seven weeks training, uh, which gives us a bit of a buffer when I have my final uh, vaccination as well, which means, yeah, it'll probably be six weeks of solid training and that will start to pick back up. I'll have a better view of that next week. And what are the other elements that I'm focusing on around the hill stuff and around the strength stuff to ensure that I'm maintaining the consistency because that's where I've been slack. So short and sweet today, quick episode as well. And, um, I'm excited to where this is going. Obviously, there's still a bit of a mountain to climb ahead of us, just with getting back out, trying some different trails, uh, doing the cross training, and just getting back into that groove of the grind, and um, then obviously seeing it through and, and getting it done right near the end of the year as well. So, lots is happening, very exciting, and um, we'll charge on. So, appreciate you being here. If you've got questions, thoughts, ideas, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm just doing this the best I can, and oh, I think it's all gonna be good though. Um, anyway, appreciate being here. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang, and hustle. Ciao.